Alola Internet, I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are back some more Pokemon Moon, and, um, I know we weren't exactly here, but fortunately I caught this kind of soon. Um, I started the episode, and for some reason, the recording software decided to say, Haha, screw you, Alex, and it just kind of stopped. Um, just to get you guys up to speed, all we really missed was, um, we went up the elevator to the top floor, and got attacked by a bunch of guys, and they were obviously evil at this point, saying that they were commanded to by the other dude. We had, unfortunately, team up with Hal who, oh man, now I can't go back and watch that. I swear, he used his Z-move and hit me. I'm not joking, he hit me. And, um, I wanted to watch it back. Shoot! But either way, um, only other things you missed, like, literally we just beat them and now Gladian's saying something. Um, man, I hate it when this happens. Fortunately, it never happened on this series yet, though, but still, I guess that's a good thing. But anyway, um, what happened was, like, I thought that was hilarious. One of the guys said, um, as he was losing... You guys are dazzling. You're like, like, uh, literally sparkling with, like, how evil you are. Something like that. I don't know. It was hilarious. They had, like, the best ending line ever, and I don't remember what it was now. Darn it. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Anyway, I know we aren't friends, but I'm glad you two are here. I remember what you said in the Battle Royale Dome that day, Hal. How people can achieve more if they do something together. Looks like maybe you were right. I hate how. Young Master! What? what kind of standing does this kid have in here? He looks exactly like the older girl, you know, who is the looter. Oh my god, how? It's been a long time. How's like, <gasps> Gladian used to be from Aether Paradise? Gladian, his hairstyle tells you everything about him. Ah, uh, hello to you too, Hamster and Hal. Please allow me to heal your Pokemon. Aw, uh, thank you. It's been a lot of not people free healing me right now. It's been getting a little bit on my nerves. What's happened to Lily? You don't know anything? I imagine she's with the president. Then that's where I'm going. That's all I need to know. President? That's Miss Lusamine, right? She's a really nice person. I'm sure she'll listen to us if we explain everything. Yeah, she's nice as long as you mean nothing to her. But I'm afraid the doors have been locked. Again? That's not stopping me. Well, there goes, um, there goes my posse once again. So, uh, anyway, how are you doing? Please look after Master Gladian. When he's worked up about something, he doesn't consider the consequences. He even goes so far as stealing Pokemon. Those two are truly much alike. Not surprised, considering that's exactly what he did, clearly, to get his, um, own Pokemon. Pokemon would look to be doing well. Ah, uh, is this Pokemon Center? Staff only. Okay, that looks like a box. Pretty cool. Oh, so you don't get screwed and stuck with um Pokemon that you oh oh. Well, at least I'm getting this on camera. The important fight. I guess that's all that really matters. My my, what's naughty children? You should just lay your heads down. Uh huh. I guess you and your hypno are gonna stop us, right? But I know that you would struggle onward. I could see that every action you would take. So I knew you would try to reach the president. And that is why I knew that I would be able to ambush you here and remedy my previous failure. The only reason I let you in the lower floor was to buy time to gather more staff to stop you. So, Mr. Baba, you have the key to the president's room? That's a yes, indeed. I have it right here. Oh, so if you should if you just stayed hooded, we would have been stuck here anyway, right? Gotta say, Hal's actually right there. What? Yeah. Hal's actually right. Enough, you lot. Teach these children a lesson. We don't have enough time for this. Help me out, hamster. I'd so much rather help with you. Can we have a triple battle? Can we like a really intense battle? Let's please not go one at a time, because that like just takes forever. We got two guys and um. Oh, please be with Gladian. Please not be with Hal. I hate Hal. Hal sucks a lot. Playing on Magmar and Electabuzz. Cool combo. A little Kanto combo of those single stages back when they were single stages. Yep, and we got his Golbat. I'm assuming he's also going to have his, um, his Titanol. As soon as the need be. Honestly, at this point, um, if I got a two-shot something, I'm going to be aiming, obviously, for, um, the Electabuzz to try and protect the Golbat. 
Golbat really has nothing on these Pokemon anyway. And if anything, uh, yeah, the Electabuzz is going to be the threat. So, we're out the Intoxic. Pour that poison into that sucker. Electabuzz badly poisoned. Here comes an Electro Ball. Aimed at Golbat. Golbat's almost down. Golbat Acrobatics on the Magmar. Perfect, because I was just going to kill, like, oh, like, one shot the Electabuzz in the next turn. Don't hit me. Oh, man, that Golbat is done. It is done. It is confused and burned with, like, no HP left. But still, um, I gotta say that Electabuzz... Oh, no, no, Toxic... Venoshock, Electabuzz. Alright. I got it. I'm still first. Death to him. Alright, cool. Guaranteed death. I love that. Rathian gained a lot of experience. Awesome. Kieran grew to 47. Sweet. And, um, Golbat's confused. Poison Fang. He got through all of that and it still didn't matter. Okay, well... Golbat. Golbat. All you had to do was hit it with another acrobatics. That was it. Now I have to go first and risk hitting myself. Damaging my poor ador. Oh, it's Magmar. Okay, I thought for some reason I was fighting Golbat. Venoshock. Finish off the Magmar. Rathian, please don't hit yourself. I know we're both stupefied at the moment, but um. Ow! Gladian. Glad. Oh, come. Use that last turn. Dummy. Whatever. Magmar is down, and he did not use Titan Null. For whatever reason, he didn't want to. Rathian grew to 44, getting all the speed. Oh, nice. We're going to move. Flame Burst only does power 70. Get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, son. Oh, yeah. Masa Lazel Retro Guda freaking 50. Let's turn Pain Split. Nope. Not a fan of Pain Split. Nope. Guess it's back to honest Pokemon conservation activities for me. Yes, I'm sure. Losing to you generated dark feelings in me. Man, I love what they were saying too. It was hilarious last time. Like, what did he say? You, you two are dazzling. Um, like. Oh, God, it was dazzling something. God, it was, it was so funny. Man, I'm going to stop being upset about it. It happens too much. Unfortunately, I lose videos all the time. But unfortunately, I did catch this one early because it looks like we're going to be getting hit with some sort of boss fight here. How could this be to be cornered by mere children? Maybe helping others. Helping one another isn't that bad. How? I leave Faba to you. All right. Enough. I'll show you the true power of Branch Chief Faba. Man who called Ether Paradise last line of defense. We'll set this with a multi battle. Come on, hamster. Oh no! The important one. I'm stuck with you. Ah, uh, great. For Lily and Cosmog. We'll do this then. Cool. If they weren't obviously evil enough because of the music, Branch Chief Faba and the Ether Foundation employee. Random guy. Wait, which one has three Pokemon? The one on the left. Okay, so wait, he's got three Pokemon now. And the other dude just has a random Ledian. Flamethrower. It's dead. Uh, Raichu, I am begging you, please don't make a stupid decision. Please just kill that Slowbro. I know you knew Thunderbolt, okay? Flamethrower on Ledian. Be done. Goodbye. Now it's two on one. And if Raichu is smart... We'll just take this out. There you go, Rathian. Good job. Ledian is out. Rathian game boosted. Thousand experience. Right, you Thunderbolt. Thank you. I was gonna say, please don't use like Thunder. Oh God. Ow! Ah, no matter what it did, I was done. Ow! Oh, that stinks. How? That was your fault. Just saying. Anyway. So, um, actually our next lowest right now is actually Kieran. Switch in. Even though he probably had some better options in there for, uh, type damage. I don't know who he's gonna throw out after this. I'm assuming Psychics. 
Are we gonna get the psychic um jewel thing? I'm assuming because we don't have it yet. Plus, this is kind of like a straight up boss anyway. How about a dragon claw, Slowbro? Right, she's faster, so it doesn't matter. Got a dragon claw coming up. Uh, he wants to send anybody else out now. Kind of doubt. Doesn't work like that. Rest of your team got experience. Dragon claw, but it failed. Sends in a Bruxish. Oh, oh. Oh, that Pokemon that we never found. It's like a 1% special encounter fishing find thing. Like, holy cow. Um, how about... Well, it's poison and water. Poison and water, I say dragon. And if I'm going to use a dragon, how about dragon claw so I don't go losing my defenses yet. And I thought Raichu was going to double us up with one of the... Oh. So Raichu, gotta say, you needed to do that before. That was when you needed to do it. Hypno is finally back out. And now it's time to decimate this sucker with changing scales because I can. Thunderbolt. And that's all it did. Psychic on, please not, ow. Super effective changing scales. Why did I send out a fighting Pokemon for the Psychic Challenge? Oh my gosh, it's alive! Como, are you kidding me? Poison jab, why not? I don't know. Raichu Thunderbolt, just finish it off. You know, just saying how... My Raichu was better. Just saying. Is my Raichu still on a higher level than his? Oh, it's not showing me his level. I was gonna say, my Raichu is still on a higher level than his. I... Here's an impression for you. I... <laughs> Oh, they are silly. And that guy's just gone. He had to awkwardly step around how before he ran off like a ninny. I want to help save Lily, so I'll go ahead. Um, you don't mind, right? Oh, he's pissed. And I hate you. And now I'm just like, I'm here. I'm totally just standing here right now. Thanks for the key. Guess I'll just stand here. Thanks for the key, Mr. Faba. You know, we could have just like... I really wish we, like, literally pushed him down on the ground and just started punching him in the face, beating him up, and eventually, like, you know, then taking the key from him. That would have been a lot more fun. I don't know, because his face, that guy's face, in house, you're just so punchable. You're so punchable. I just want to punch him in the face. I just want to smash him. I want to smash his glasses into his face and watch his eyes bleed out, and that's kind of awful. This is why I can't bring myself to like children. They can't like you. I mean, to be fair, it's probably what it's all about. You want to find loose me? We gotta get to the entrance of the first floor before it's too late. By that you mean run forward, correct? Whoa! Excuse me? What? Whoa! Why are they all here? Oh! Oh, look, it's you! Why do you cover your eye up? Like, Whoa, there's like an Uku Billion Team Sk Uku Billion Team Skull Thugs in this place. So the Foundation really was working together with Team Skull. It's like way too mind-blowing to think about it right now. Hamster, let's knock these skulls together for now. Wait a minute. Team Skull was working with Ether Paradise? Are they dead? These guys are dead. All right, well, that's that's disappointing. Let's go over here instead. Wow, this is a long run. What's going on here? Um, am I really going upstairs? Wow, this is a thing. My nose, I'm sorry, guys. It's itchy. Yay, I found a Zygarde cube. Hooray for not following the story directives. Let's uh, do the same thing except go to the left. Uh, actually, can I run in here? No. You can only leave with Charizard. Man, look at the map. I'm going as fast as I can. Hi, kid. How you doing? Look at you! Alright, see ya. That, no, don't have no qualms with me, man. Leaving you alone. I got you. I got you good. So, um, what's up here? Pokeball. Reward on either side. is a full heal. Awesome. So, I guess from here we can just progress forward. We got a Zygarde cube, which is awesome, because I know we're going to get to the end of the game or something, try and complete our Zygarde and be like, hey, we only got, um, 30% of them. Oh! Y'all want to fight, huh? Is that it? What are they saying? Gotta keep the boss from getting his hands dirty. Gotta wreck you myself. I won't even heal by the time we get to the end. Fine, just to let you, let him try. 
Because seriously, your boss is a joke. Your boss is an absolute joke. Team Skull Grunt, like Gladian, is a lot better than you. Mainly because I just won his Pokemon. There's two more. There's two more. They shall be mine. Oh, yes, they shall be mine. Rathian, are you prepped? Are you ready? Are you prepared for trouble? Make a double? Flamethrower. Finally, I can straight do enough damage to these things to probably kill them now, right? Oh, man. Mean look. Oh, no. What a dastardly look. I can no longer escape. Venoshock might kill him. Just in case. Another flamethrower. Just get rid of it. And hotness. I guess I'm going to keep fighting with this. I mean, the odds of them still having more poison and... Is high, isn't it? I should switch. Unity grew to six. Hey, you know what? We haven't seen Unity in, like, forever. I say we actually switch up for Unity. Why not? I mean, Unity's just gonna end up getting way too high of a level down there. To oh my god, Unity's our highest. Unity is our freaking highest, but we haven't seen Unity in forever. So, Unity time. Dude, are you prepared? This is for the sponsor who supports Team Skull. Team, wait, Ether Paradise pays for Team Skull? Why? That makes no sense. But anyway, so, Eradicate. Yep, we're good. This guy is like, that needs to be like a level 100 to deal with what I'm about to throw at him. My little fish. My level 60 little death fish. Oh wait, it's a big little death fish. What you got on this death fish? Unity formed a school. Um, and, oh, it already knows Hydro Pump. Oh, my God. Um, you know what? Aqua Tail. Smack that thing. Boop! It's dead. Absolute death. All right, Unity. Um, it was cool seeing you for a bit. I just want to kind of say hi. But, honestly, you're on level 60. Let's, let's just, you know, accept that fact and be like, all right, cool, I got to use my Unity for a little bit. Got to switch people. Unity, that's a little insane. Uh, Kieran and Rathian. Um, honestly, Rathian, you up to the very front, and then we're gonna switch over to Galispot, I assume, because, uh, we got to. We got to. You see who's coming up. Yo, yo, yo! Pretty strong, ain't you? Go right ahead. I'm no numbskull. I don't fight battles can't win. Oh. Well. Oh. How considerate. Alright, thanks, dude. Fear. We know what this is all about. Come on. I gotta fight him with fear. I have to. Nah, I'm still not strong enough. All the days I struggled alone and lonely it was for nothing. You lost to him? Look at my cow pants. How did you lose to him? The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Guzma, you never beat me. You never came close. Yeah, big bad Guzma's here. I did that spoiled little brat a favor and crushed him. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I know, I kind of like you, leaving you, kid. Leaving home like that and wanting to get stronger and stronger. You had some real guts. Going as far as coming over to Team Skull and rejecting your own mother. That was impressive. Oh, no, his mother must be the president here, not his sister. I was thinking before it was his sister. Age thing. That was impressive. And now it's your turn. You little misfits keep getting up in my grill like a cloud of smoke that I can't brush away. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to put out your fire in the source. Oh gosh, Guzma. You, I gotta say, he's pitiful. Please lead with Galissapod again, please. He's got four Pokemon this time. He might almost kill one of my Pokemon here. Oh god, he did it. He did it. Hey Guzma, you're in the perfect position. Crap your pants again. Guess what level I'm at now? Way higher than yours. Oh no, you're level 41. First Pokemon I've seen so far, it's cracked 40. Too bad you're dead though. Well actually, it's um a thing called emergency evacuation. And as soon as you come back, see ya. Send out a Masquerade. Um, Intimidate, mm, that's actually going to be annoying. Um, So I think what we gotta do is a liquidation. I was looking at it like, uh, I'm not sure, but Air Slash, oh, screw off. Liquidation. Smack! 
Boom! Done. Oh no, it lived! How about a sucker punch? Sugar Sham Jelly Punch! Boom, it's dead. There you go. And that's two. Guzma, how you doing so far? You even touched me yet? Oh, you sent a Galissapod. That's adorable, man. Oh, it's gonna hit me with a first impression. And when it hits with first impression, I already know. Sucker Punch does not work. Um, I'm gonna leech life. It's still a little bit of health left. First impression. Smack. I knew that was gonna happen, but it's okay. Thanks for the health back, dude. So, Guzma, how, how you doing so far? Look at that. You did some damage to me that time, man. Oh, nice one, man. You're doing great. You beating, beating me up and just never letting up, right? Never letting up. You, you go, man. Sends in a pincer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't even put that bug Z-move on Gullispod because it wasn't necessary. But then and I was thinking the citrus berry honestly might be better. I don't know. But still, hey. How about some more HP? Leech life. Uh-oh. X scissor. Uh-oh. I took damage. Thanks for the health back. Yum 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 yum. By the way, I'm also holding a citrus berry, so even if you put me under, I'm gonna come right back up. So leech life. Oh, you know what? I should have Sugar Sham Jelly Punched him just to kill him. Critical hit? Oh, no! Whatever, shall I? Look at that. Hey, Guzma. I just taught you a trick. Are you going to even pull that on me next time? My Glisspot did not retreat because Citrus Berries. I love to hate this guy. Love hating this guy. Just saying. Guzma! Good job! Look how much damage you did! I even used a Citrus Berry! <gasps> your Ariados! <gasps> your big, bad, scary Ariados! Oh my gosh, I gotta beat him just with this one Pokemon. It's like a trial for me. Now, how are we gonna pull this one off? Um, honestly, the Leech Lights are probably the best way, but um, Liquidation may one-shot it. Ariados is still faster with a Fell Stinger. It's gotta get me into the yellow, and nope. Liquidation. And now I can uh, Sugar Sham Jelly Punch if I need to. I do. Uh-oh. Wow. You did so good that time, Guzma. Thumbs up for you. Good job. Gladian, you lost to this guy? You lost to this guy. You lost to this guy. Are you kidding me? Glusspot's getting three, 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 two, two, two. Very welcome. Defeated Guzma again. What's up with you? How come I can't smash you? Because you suck. He's not getting that idea down. Oh. You did really you did a really adorable job that time though. All for your Pokemon, and you almost did damage to me. Guzma, what's wrong with you? You suck at everything, and I've got cow pants. Looks like I got no choice. Go on through. You don't have a choice. Shut up, bro, Tom. I got things to do. And honestly, what I got to do right now? Eh. Just give me that. Give it to the Pokemon. Yay, now you got a new Citrus Berry. You know what? Why not? Have another one. Now, Fear, I'm going to actually switch you back out because um, now that Guzma's out of the way and he has once again soiled his trousers, I'm going to switch Rathian up to the front of the party and um, we actually have to... Well done, my brave champion. You must beat Guzma. Yeah. Ooh. Looking around for one of them sparkly Zygarde cubes. You never know. You never know. They might be around here somewhere. Just keeping my eyes a glowing. Never mind. There's nothing here. Maybe they appear at certain times of the day, too. Which is really going to make them annoying to go get if I felt like it. Why is it sparkling in here? Oh. Spotlight. I am star. So. Is that a locked door? Locked door, there's stairs that are locked off. Reminding me of um, N's Tower. Oh. It'd be great if, like, turn of events, N is the guy in charge. You two, um, I always thought you two looked identical. Hamster, it's been a while since we last saw you. What? You came? Yeah. You actually came to help me? Yeah, thank you. I beat everybody in my way. 
And my heart party's fine. Just saying. So you know one another? A gifted young trainer like Hamster. And he bothers with someone like you? How disappoint- DISAPPOINTING! I don't need your approval, mother, or your permission. I will save Cosmo. Okay, you two are old enough to be sisters. Like, just saying, this whole dynamic is like weird. My, you do say such incomprehensible things. Calling me mother, I don't have any children. Oh, so maybe they're like, I don't know, biological clones or something like that. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off and reject my love. You're crazy. Tell me how you'll save that Pokemon. What can you do, Lily? You fail to convince me to listen to you. You don't even have the strength of a trainer. The only thing you've done on your own is steal someone else's research material. Ah, was that her? You're not beautiful enough for my world. I was cruel, but fine. Since you're here anyway, you can watch me summon my sweet beast. And then you can leave. I'm not being foolish or selfish. I'm asking you to listen, mother. Do not sacrifice Cosmog for that beast's sake. If you open an Ultra Wormhole, Cosmog will die. You're right, it probably will die. Because I'm going to force it to use its power whether it wants to or not. Oh. Oh. Maybe you uh, really had been a daughter to me. I would have listened to you. Too bad. Okay, um... Yes. Permission granted. I will beat the ever-loving crap out of her if I can. Hamster, I am happy you came after me, but I have to be selfish again. I have to ask you one more time, please. Help, help, Nebby. I will save Nebby! Yep, that's a thing that I must do because Nebby is the one that I will rescue! Rebby, Nebby, Nebby, pew pew and all that. Yep, that's right. Um, it was definitely not just searching the entire area for goodies to... Must I sleep in everyone's bed? And like, it didn't even heal my Pokemon, he was just like, a perv, like, Ah, oh, this feels good. My head, it's caressed against the pillow very oh so slightly. Hey, uh, welcome, come with me. Come with me as I take a nap. Anyway, I guess we really should just press on. I was gonna say, did I just like, kill myself? I am... No one explains how teleporters work in Pokemon. They're just like, poof! Alright, oh, by the way, yeah, we have teleporters. Why? Because, uh, the original game programming, it's all could handle. We thought it was cool. And now it's just like, oh, we have ordinary technology and teleporters. Um, alright. What is this place? You haven't been here before? What's in the case? Hurry this way. You are so obviously diabolically evil, I think that it's kind of too late to stop you, isn't it? Oh my gosh, that slowpoke is like frozen in ice. Is that a Corsola back there too? No, it's a Starmie. What do you think? It's my private collection. My precious babies. They will be preserved for eternity. Oh my god! That's a Pukey Mewkey. Oh my god, and a Pikachu? They're like frozen in ice blocks? Okay. She's... She's loony. But my poor beast, what confusion. What rage I must feel arriving in this strange world. It would not be right to confine its feelings in such a small case such as these ones. I will need to express itself. I think I will let it express all its fury upon the Alola region as it will. So she's just nuts. That's all this is. She's just crazy. Hamster! I hate you, squirrel boy! Oh, Gladian. Okay, good. We have somebody here who's worth a damn. Ah, oh, and Lily. I'm so glad to see you're okay. Ah, oh, sweet how you came to. And Gladian, must you be so untidy? Untidy. Yes, that's my one hair is sticking up. Will you listen to me at least? You mustn't open the ultra wormhole. You can't let the beast run wild. That's all he had to say? Alright, that was it. That was the extent of his explanation. Daughter who stole my Cosmog from me and the son who took my Type Null. Oh no! That was the son of one. Now you're admitting it at least, but I mean, we kind of knew that from before. Took my Type Null. I thought you said it was a Type Full before. Or type... I guess that would have been confusing if you didn't know that or read the vials. All I ever did was give you to all the love I had. All you did was betray me! You have no right to ask for my attention now. 
He had it for a second. What? Daughter? So How? I oh my. Oh god. How? I can't help you anymore. Oh, you're so slow. You're all a family? How? Seriously. Perhaps once we were. Sweet how, but these wretches beside you left me. But it doesn't matter now. None of that matters now. Your hair makes no sense. Like, where's your part line, actually? How does it work? I was able to open the ultra wormhole using just the gases we'd extracted from Gosmog when it was in Ether Paradise, wasn't I? Oh, it's in there! Now I have Cosmog itself inside this crate here. If I use its entire body, how many ultra wormholes will I be able to. Oh! How many sweet babies will come to me then? She wants the sweet babies! Please, stop. If Nebby isn't... If you make it use up too much of its power, you don't understand what will happen. Like when we ran away from the paradise, it couldn't even move for ages after that. If you use too much of its power, it will die. It's clearly not one of her babies, and now she's turned around, and now she's holding it. Watch. Oh, she's just gonna do it. Open the ultra wormhole for you. Come to me, my sweet beast. Oh, uh, she's just loony. She's just straight loony, right? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. Oh, she's doing it anyway. She's just straight doing it anyway. I, okay. Well, she opened one at least. Uh, jellyfish man's back. Jellyfish thing. Great. Or at least just the, oh, is it not just, is she, she's really killing it. Is she killing it? She's killing it. Um, those are, oh. Oh. That was in one of the trailers. That was one of the other Ultra Beasts. Shoot, they're everywhere, aren't they? Oh. She opened them everywhere. She really did- Oh my gosh, Nebby's dead. There's no way that thing's not dead. It- Ah! Well, at least this one's here. You see? All over Alola. Ew, it's alive somehow. Oh, that poor thing. Must you be so noisy even inside there? What an annoying Pokemon. Oh, shut up, lady! Oh my gosh, you know, she's really driving me insane, but we're actually getting really close to overtime anyway. I don't wanna make sure that the video doesn't cut out or do anything weird like it did in the beginning of this, but anyway, this is clearly not going well, but hopefully Nebby's gonna be all right and um, we can take down this Ultra Beast, I guess, in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Moon. See you.